Hello guys, so in this video, we're gonna, you know, explore one of the uh, applications of the diode circuits, which is the AND gate logic or AND gate logic circuit, okay? So this circuit can be uh, solved or analyzed in two ways. One of them using the ideal uh, diode model and the other one is using the constant voltage model. In that video, we're gonna explore the analysis using the ideal voltage model, okay? So basically we have two inputs, okay? And we have our output here. So the inputs are VA and VB and the output is VO. We're gonna see the value of the output versus the input, the inputs, okay? At four different values because we have two inputs, VA and VB, and this is a, a digital circuit. So digital circuit has inputs as high or low. So the two inputs have four combinations, like low, 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 high, high, low, high, high. Okay, so basically that's what we're gonna explore today. VA, VB, and VO. Our high or our low first is zero. So when we're gonna explore the output when VA and VB are zeros, then zero and five, where five volt is our uh, considered as high voltage, then five zero, then five five. Okay, if we go to another with another color to express which is which, so basically zero is low, and five is, is high. Okay, so let's start by zero zero first. Number one, VA equal to VB equal to zero. When I put zero is here, what I'm gonna get, okay? So basically look at the circuit. This is ideal model, okay, for the diode. Whenever you see a diode forward, then it's on. Whenever you see a diode reverse, then it's off. Okay, so let's start by DA. So DA, it's N. It's closer to the lowest voltage in the circuit, which is zero. And it's P is closer to the highest voltage of the circuit, which is five. So basically, or probably we can say, this node here would have a higher voltage than this node. So it will be forward, okay? So, and for B, DB, the same. N is closer to zero voltage. B is closer to a high voltage. So basically, we're gonna assume that DA and DB are on or forward. Of course, under the diode model, under the diode ideal model, whenever the diode is, is forward, it's on. Okay. Good. So let's check further. So since they are on, then VDA equal to zero, because this is the ideal model. In the ideal model. Whenever a voltage is, uh, whenever the load is forward, its voltage drop is zero. VDA is zero. So we know that uh, VDA equal to VA, I'm sorry, equal to VO minus VA. So the voltage drop across the diode equal to the voltage of the B minus the voltage of the N. The voltage of the B is VO, the voltage of the N is VA. So VDA, which is zero equal to VO, which is unknown, minus VA, which is zero. So VO is zero. We can check, let's do it from the B branch. Uh, so this is a check. VDB, again, it's zero because again, we assume that DB is forward. Since it's forward, then it's on. Then when, and whenever it's on, its voltage drop is zero, okay? It's about, it's about voltage drop is zero. So VDB is equal to VO minus VB, okay? So uh, VDB, which is zero equal to VO, which is unknown, minus uh, VB. VB is zero from Z, VO is equal to zero. That's just a check, we should, we must get the, the same value. You can't have 
uh, one node in the circuit which has two different values. You can't you can't have such a thing. So that's just a check, and we, the check is is true. Okay. Then basically, when V A and V B is zero, V output is zero. So we're gonna have here zero in that case, which is low. Okay. Number two, let's do it with another color, like dark blue. V A equal to five, V B equal to five. We see that when we assumed zero in the first case, both diodes were on. Now let's see if we have a five now. See if we have a five here or five here. When you have a five, the N will be closer to five and B is also closer to five volt. Actually, N is directly, you know, connected to the five. It's equal to five volt. V N is equal to five volt for either DA or DB. The N side is just equal to five volt. Okay, but the B side, you know, it's not directly connected to five volt. So it's maybe even less. Uh, the point, this point, I mean, VO is less than five volt. So basically, in here, looks like uh, the diodes are reverse. Okay, or they are off. We're gonna see which is, you know, uh, very reverse or just off. I mean, with VB equal to zero, this point that is a transition, but you're gonna see this. So basically, the S, they look like off. So assume that DA and DB are off. When they are off, then IA equal to IB equal to zero. But as you see here, I, which is the, is the current in this branch, in the, this, is this resistance R, is equal to IA plus IB. So I is equal to IA plus IB. So this will be equal to zero. And remember that I, which is equal to zero now, equal to this point, which is five, on this node, minus this point, which is, uh, uh, we didn't determine it. So yeah, we, we, it's unknown till this moment. We always unknown. Uh, divided by R. Again, I, which is, we uh, we calculate it as zero now, flowing in that branch. And so it's equal to that point or that node minus this node over the resistance. And remember, V is unknown at this moment. So multiply by R. So this will give us zero equal to five minus VO. So basically from that VO is equal to five. So when VA and VB is equal to five, VO is equal to five. This guy is equal to five, which is high basically. Now we have two uh, states, zero, five, five, zero. Okay, so let's have another color again. Red, for example. So let's do VA equal to zero, VB is equal to five. Okay. So uh, let's see. Let's you know get some benefit from our previous two cases. In the first case, when we have inputs as zero, we discovered that the diodes are on. And when we have inputs as five, we discovered that the diode was off or were off because both have, have five volts at the time. So basically we can assume now, or we can guess now that whenever you have an input of zero, we just assume the corresponding diode as on. And whenever you have a diode, uh, an input as five, just assume the corresponding diode is off. So in that case here, we're gonna assume that DA is on and DB is off, okay? If DA is on, then VDA, equal to zero. Remember, this is the ideal voltage model. If it was a constant voltage model, this would be 0 0.7. Yes, it's weird that, you know, there is a big difference here, zero to 0 0.7. But as we see, what we care about is the same conclusion or not. We know that this circuit is an AND gate, okay? Because we solved this before and it was with a constant voltage model and it was AND gate, okay? Now we are resolving it using, uh, the ideal, ideal mode, which is easier because it's just open or short for the diode. Okay, good. 
So VD is equal to zero, which is equal to VO minus VA. Just look at the circuit. Here is VDA equal to VO, which is point that minus this point. So uh, VA is known, VO is not known, VA is uh, zero. So from that, VA is equal to uh, zero. Okay, zero volt. Now let's check if, if our assumption for dB is correct or wrong. We assumed it's off. To know that correctly, just to calculate VDB. So VDB is equal to VO again minus VB. VO now we know it's zero. And VB is, uh, is five. So basically VDB is minus five. So it's reverse. And if it's reverse, then it means it's off. So our assumption is correct. Okay. So when we have VA zero and VB is five, we have a zero at the output, which is low, basically. So can we guess now when we have VA now five and VB is zero, what's, what's gonna happen? It will be the same. It will be the same as this case here. Okay, this, in this case, okay, we just change, we will just change the branches. So, or switch the branches, okay? So when VA is zero, VB is five, the, the output was, uh, was zero, okay? And sorry, this is output. And VA was on, DB was off. When we switch, I mean, we put VA is equal to five and VB is equal to zero. DB will be on and diode A will be zero, uh, will be off. Okay, so we, again, we will get the same conclusion. Let's do it very quick. Green this time, VA five, VB zero, DA off this time, DB on this time, that time, okay? So VDA or VDB, equal to zero equal to VO minus VB. So uh, zero equal to VO is unknown for us. VB is zero. So from that VO is zero. Now let's check that that's, is that really VA or DA is, is reverse or off. So just calculate VDA. VDA is equal to VO minus VA. VO is zero, VA is five minus five. This is reverse. So our assumption is just correct that VA is off. And we have here the output is zero, which is again low. And look at this, zero, 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 five, zero, five, zero, zero, zero five, five, five. This is basically AND gate or AND logic gate, whatever you call it. Okay? And the conclusion doesn't change, I mean, when we solve it, this using the uh, the constant voltage model, remember the output here was 0.7. I mean, 0 0.7, 0 0.7, 0 0.7, then five. Okay, but basically zero and 0.7 are just low voltages. I mean, initial circuits we care about if this is we just classify the voltages as, as two classifications, either high or low. I mean, zero is or 0.3 or 0.7 or even one or minus 0.5 or minus 0.1, all such group is low. And for high voltages, five is just like 4.5, just like 4.3, just, like just like four. Okay, all that group is just considered high. So the conclusion doesn't change. So we have easier solution because basically here dealing with uh, the diode with just the two cases on or off. Because you are sure here, whenever the diode is, is on, is, I'm sorry, is, is, is forward, it's on, okay? You can't have that, you know, that it changed that in forward, in constant voltage model, in forward, it may, the voltage may be less than 0.7, so it will be off, although it's forward. But you don't have such thing here. Okay, guys? So that's basically, you know, uh, the AND gate using, uh, uh, using the diode, but with ideal uh, voltage model which is really easy to use. And see you in the next video. Bye-bye.